Well, neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today I'm with Mark from Firestone. And that's one of the great things about being here at eTrailer. We get a lot of trainings that come in, and this is our way to have the experts really explain to you, uh, you know, what their products are about and why they might be good for you. So, Mark, why would someone want airbags on their vehicle? Yeah, for anybody that is hauling, towing, or carrying excessive weight on a vehicle, our air helper spring kits actually allow the vehicle to be returned to factory ride height when they're hauling those heavy loads. Um, they install them parallel to the factory suspension, so you're not taking anything off the vehicle. Um, again, it's a load helper assist, so once you add air to this, it levels the vehicle, um, it, and it's when you're not using it, you let the air back out, and it's like they were never there to start with. So with leveling, you get not only just less strain on the suspension, it's going to allow that shock to actually do what it's doing. This is going to supplement that, but yep. it also translates to a lot of stuff up front. Correct. So steering, braking, all that. Correct, yeah, so you get a lot of uh, added benefits from this, so suspension wear, uh, fatigue, things like that, that you would get just from not having this solution on your vehicle. Um, tire wear, specifically brake wear, uh, suspension wear, there's all those components that come into play when you're hauling and you're not level um, that end up wearing out prematurely. Yeah, and things people don't think about is, you know, until you have that heavy load, that front steering wheel will start to get squarely without it being level. Sure. Uh, braking also goes with that and then headlight height, something people don't think about, but your truck's gonna be squatted unless you're going for that look, but yeah. that doesn't make for safe driving. Yeah, it definitely puts the headlights back on the ground. It levels the vehicle back out to the factory ride height and allows the vehicle suspension to do what it was designed to do, to do from the factory. Now, a cool inside look, an actual inside look of a bag is something you don't often see, and we do have those here today. So, uh, Mark, if you wanna break down kind of what are we looking at? Yeah, so these are cutaways that we've intentionally cut in half and sectioned so that people can see the inside of the air spring. So we're, some things to note that we're using a steel bead plates, we're not using plastic. Um, the steel actually creates the integrity that gives us the crimping technology to crimp roll the four ply rubber into the bead plates. So when this application is on the vehicle itself, you don't have to worry about those air springs pulling apart. Uh, all of our air springs are just designed to have very specific ride heights, so we don't run internal jounce bumpers because of the design, the materials that we're using. It allows the air spring to have its full travel capabilities that it's designed to have when it's on the vehicle. And as far as, uh, you know, this is not a new technology. You guys have been doing this for a long time, right? Yeah, so we've been actually, we have the first patent. It was uh, patented in 1938 for the very first air spring. Um, the air spring, obviously, technology is advanced well past that. Um, the, the air springs that we're using today uh, are derived from our heavy-duty air springs that are in the marketplace today that everybody's familiar with on the heavy-duty truck side. We're just, we miniaturized the applications down to half, three-quarter, and one-ton coverage. And that's a good, uh, we see that here compared to this bag. This one has this red sticker. Yeah. What's the difference between these two? Yeah, so we have a couple different options on the capacity for, uh, depending on the application. So uh, our base level kit is 5,000 pounds of carrying capacity, 100 PSI max. On the three quarter and one tons, we offer a 7,500 pound series kit that is rated to 150 PSI with a max towing capacity of 7,500 pounds. Now, when it comes to the capacity of these, it's not necessarily giving you extra capacity for towing, correct? Correct, yeah. So the, 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 the capacity rating that's on both the Ride Right and the Red Label kits are the max capacity of the air spring kit itself. It does not add to your gross vehicle weight of the vehicle from the factory. Now, obviously, if you're getting bags, you're probably doing some heavy duty, you know, hauling or whatever, but mm -hmm. a lot of times trucks are daily drivers. So how does this affect normal ride quality? Yeah, so when you're not uh, hauling or towing anything, you'll take these air springs down to five PSI and the factory suspension is doing 100% of the work. Uh, it's almost like these kits aren't even installed. As you add weight to the vehicle, you'll increase your air spring pressure based on your ride quality and your level, um, how level you want the vehicle. Um, so when you're unloaded, again, you take it back down to five PSI, the factory suspension is doing 100% of the work uh, and you, you won't even know these kits are back there. Now, we have a bracket here set up for RAM, and a lot of, I've done plenty of these installs, and the great part is there's no drilling really required to get these all mounted up. Uh, they're custom fit to each vehicle, I would assume. Absolutely, so all of our air spring kits are designed to fit very specific applications, so they're all year make and model specific. Uh, so basically, once you have your year make and model, you can pick the capacity of the air spring you want, depending on the application, and go from there. So all of our kits are what we consider to be no drill install. We pick up factory holes in the frame so that you're not drilling into the frame. There are some exceptions to that depending on the application, but most of those are older applications. All of our current applications are no drill install. Uh, they're compatible with embed hitches, so whether you're running B&W, Kurt, Reese, a Polrite, all of those are compatible with our air spring, so we're not interfering with each other on the application side. Um, and again, no drill install. Uh, they do not come with onboard compressors. The compressors are sold separately. So when you install these, they're manual fill setup. You would change the pressure like you would be changing your pressure in the tire. 
And with that manual fill, you can set it up in a single path or dual path. Um, what's benefits of a dual path for a single? Yeah, so single path, both air springs are tied together, so they're always running the same air spring pressure. So if you're hauling a boat, a trailer, a bumper pole type application, single path is more or less preferred. Uh, the dual path comes into play, so the air springs are independently plumbed uh, so that you can have side to side adjustability. In bed campers, uneven uh, loads in the vehicle, you, you'll have the dual path application um, or installation for those, uh, those particular fitments. And with the manual fill, uh, for those of you at home that have just kind of getting into this, that means you have a Schrader valve, you're going to take an air compressor too. There's options to where you don't have to find, uh, or you don't have to have your own compressor at home, you don't have to stop at a gas station, and that's going to be onboard air, right? Absolutely. So Firestone offers a complete line of onboard compressors. Uh, it's called our Air Command Kits. Um, whether you want analog, wireless, or self-leveling, we have all three options depending on what you're looking for from a solution. Now, something that's really neat with these bags, just because of the design and the brackets, mm -hmm. uh, you can put your truck up on a lift or jack it up and let these bags hang without any damage occurring. Absolutely. So the way we design our air springs, because they're crimp rolled into the rubber, uh, there's no harm in actually leaving the lower bracket attached to the air spring. So when you put the vehicle on the lift, the axle may overextend a little bit, but you will not pull these air springs apart. And that just speaks to the durability and quality of them too. Absolutely, and we designed these specifically to be that way so that you don't have to do a bunch of service in order to be able to put a vehicle on a lift. A huge thanks to Mark from Firestone for taking the time to really break down airbags and, and give us a little bit more insight. And hopefully this helps you at home uh, with your buying decision if you are looking at airbags.